Use the interactive tool finder to search for the tools to which legacy panel functionality has been moved. Like to identify where the rule tool is located now. Use the search field to check for terms from legacy hyperworks and be pointed to their location in ribbons and tools. Like searching for find will bring you to the find entity tool. Find attached is available in the find entity tool as option attached to. Measure is available in the home ribbon as well as under the F4 key. Click on a measure to display its components. Right click to copy them. Switch to dimensioning to adjust distance or angle between two or three nodes. To align and to project are available in the topology ribbon. To reflect or to scale can be found under the switch for the move tool. To position is an option of the move tool itself. The move tool offers the option to translate by the distance between two nodes, like the N2N1 option from Legacy Hyperworks, through calling the direction tool. The Move tool can be placed and oriented independently of the entities it shall move by holding the Shift button pressed, then moving the snaps, available at origin and error tips. The Direction tool allows definition of vectors or planes like the N1, N2, N3 selection when you press Ctrl while clicking on entities. Follow Chapter Number 7 from the HyperWorks Introduction Basic Handling Exercise videos to get a thorough introduction into the application of the Move and the Direction tools. Often you will find respective buttons to execute or cancel an operation. In the direction tool you may in some cases need to hit escape to return to the tool that you called it from, like here in the extrude tool. Create and populate a custom ribbon by drag and drop to assemble your favorite tools on your own ribbons. You may dock off such ribbons to have them permanently in front view. Alternatively consider using the tool belt, which can be called with Alt and right click. Or build and load extensions, which allow to include also your own scripts into ribbons and toolbars. This concludes the fourth of the six videos of the HyperMesh Quick Start for HyperWorks Classic Professionals video series. The next video is about geometry operations. Thanks for watching.